Dog Team. Today we're going to do the Muffin Tin. It's from 10 Minute Dog Twin Games. It's on page 46 and it looks like this. Now the Muffin Tin is a pretty straightforward scent game and it's a really fun way to add some fun to your dog's day. You take a standard Muffin Tin and 6 to 12 tennis balls and you hide their kibble or their dry biscuits or their treats under the tennis balls inside the Muffin Tin. And they have to work to get them out. And the way we teach this is we put some kibble in the muffin tin, we put the muffin tin down, they eat the kibble, and then we put a couple tennis balls in the muffin tin, and put some kibble in the empty cups, and they eat the kibble. And then we put a little kibble in an empty cup, and while they're eating it, we throw a little kibble in another cup, and throw a, a tennis ball on top of it, and they have to move the tennis ball to get the treats underneath the tennis ball. And then we just hide kibble under the tennis balls. But what happens if you have a dog that's sound sensitive or texture sensitive and is afraid of the muffin tin. And the answer there is we're going to start really slow. I like to use a snuffle mat or a shag type uh, area carpet. Just a small like bath mat size thing will do and hide kibble in that and let them figure out how to find kibble out of this fluffy surface. They actually kind of already know how to do this. Most of our dogs are really really good at finding food in the grass. From there, I'm going to uh, put some kibble in a box, just so they get used to reaching into a novel object to get food. And then I'm going to start throwing, very gradually, some different things into the box with the kibble. I'm going to start with something really innocuous like wadded up toilet paper, paper towel, socks, add maybe some tennis balls or other things, and gradually make it harder and harder until they're really moving stuff around. And then I'm going to introduce the muffin tin to the box and the kibble's just going to be in the muffin tin, it's going to be really easy for them to get to but there's a metal object in the box. From there the muffin tin comes out and we do what I just talked about. Kibble in the muffin tin, tennis balls and kibble and finally you have to work through all of the tennis balls to find the couple of them that have kibble underneath them. And that's the muffin tin!
Good boy. Good boy. 